Hi there. Welcome to Draw With Me. I'm Danny Gregory. Yet again, it's Thursday. And, uh, oh, here comes my co-host. I have a co-host today. Well, you'll join me in a minute, I assume. I'm sorry, I didn't want to turn out the Anyway, how about those tigers, huh? Go tigers. Some beautiful tigers. So many different interpretations of them. And uh, celebrations of the Year of the Tiger. <coughs> Is it not the Year of the Pug? It's the Year of the Pug, too. <laughs> there, there are my, there's my two co-hosts. Kind of like the Ed McMahon and Doc Severinsen yeah, of, uh, just, just like of Draw With Me. So yes, we're here in cozy Phoenix, Arizona. With a fire going. And it's 80 degrees outside. <laughs> and it's 80 degrees outside. <laughs> But, uh, you know, we'll pretend, because I'm sure it's cold where you are. Maybe for you Australians, maybe not. But, uh, yeah. This is not really the new studio, but maybe it could be. <laughs> no, it cannot be it cannot in our be the, living cannot, room, your new studio. No, this is, our, <laughs> this is not our new, our new, the new studio. You want to point out the David Pyle painting? Yes, I do. Whoops. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Right there is, you can't really see it, but it is, wait, maybe, maybe I could do this. I don't know. You don't want people to see it because they're going to be so jealous. It's gigantic. But that's um, a painting done by my friend David Pyle that, I, that uh, he did for my birthday um, of Colorado looking like Arizona. It's beautiful and it's enormous. And um, <clears throat> yeah, so reasons to be cheerful here in... Um, in early February, it is well, mid, almost mid-February. Except the ty- the pear tree blossoms. Yeah, we pear, ha- hay fever blossoms. We have we have uh, hay fever problems here because spring kind of is already here. We had three days of winter, and now spring has sprung. The pear tree outside the front of our house has gone from losing all of its leaves to gaining blossoms in a day, two days. It's kind of crazy. And so now there are bees swarming, and it feels, you know. Like it's 80 feel, degrees outside. It feels like it's 80 degrees outside. <laughs> and twiglet, yeah. So it's also, we're coming up on Valentine's Day, which is a nice holiday. Are you a fan of Valentine's Day? I'm a fan of Seas Candies. I get the hint. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes. Rosalie says 68 degrees at 3 a.m. Where? She's in New Zealand. No, Uh, maybe in Australia. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there you go. Glad to see that Australia still uses Fahrenheit. Yeah, no, I'm not playing with the top. We're not playing doggos tacos today. Sorry. (laughs) This is is the risk of taking your studio to the living room. It's true. So, yeah. Um, But, yeah, it's Valentine's Day. And we have been talking all week about what we should do. I mean, last year you did those incredibly anatomical hearts. It's true. Do you remember last year we drew actual heart, the organ? That was pretty good. Um, That's not what we're going to be doing today, though. But but let's have a look at this, because this is something that you came up with that I thought was pretty cool. Uh, This is my wife, by the way, off camera. JJ. Jennifer James Gregory. And um, yeah, here we go. So this is, this is something that, uh, how would you describe what this is? Um, the height of hilarity? It is. <laughs> so yes, so we've got this collection of these, um, of Valentines, strange Valentines, with kind of strange humor. Like this one, I'll never be false to you, Valentine, on a pair of false teeth. <laughs> nice. Um, or this one. The point is you will be my Valentine or I'll nail you yet, my Valentine, with a guy getting what seems like a colonoscopy, like an early crude form of uh, <laughs> prostate exam with a pin. I remember we had a teacher and somebody put thumbtacks on his chair and he had to go to the hospital. <laughs> it wasn't on Valentine's Day, so probably not relevant. Was it Twingly? <laughs> no, 
No, it was it was it was a chemistry teacher in high oh, school. Wow. Um, how about this? This is a very complex one. I'm screwy when I scrutinize you, like a barber pole and a pigtail too. Not sure, like how you'd feel getting that <laughs> screwed. I guess. <laughs> I'd rather have C's. Yeah. Um, or how about this one? Let's come to the point. Be my Valentine. And she's holding a dagger by the blade, incidentally. And then there's a sword that seems, I think this is like a series of swords that go down her throat. And then for some reason, is that a circus tent or is it? Yes, it's but like is it, sword but swallowing. What, but is that like a, a, a bull sticking out of the tent? I think it's an elephant. No, it's a tiger. <gasps> Tiger is back. Oh my God. All right. So whatever that is, I don't want to look at yeah. it anymore. All right. How about this one? <laughs> I love you, baby. And he's, I guess you turn the thing and he hits her on the head. Now will you be my Valentine? <laughs> it's like from the hashtag Me Too era of Valentines, I have to say. But that, I think that's, that's, uh, you think that's cute? No, I think it's female on female violence. No, that's a man. <laughs> it's a man because he's wearing like a Fred Flintstone thing. That is not a man. No? No. Yes, it's a man with an earring, hitting a woman with an earring. Anyway, um, I'll feel so happy if you'll be my Valentine. Hmm. Yeah, it just seems like a lot of work went into the drawings, but not a lot of work into the idea. So, yeah, I feel so, I'll feel so happy. Maybe it's for Germans. That's <laughs> wunderbar. And uh, let's move on to the next one. Oh, yeah, this is uh, this is sort of an S and M one. Dear Val dear love, be my Valentine. I've been at large quite long enough. I'm tired of being free. Please, my dear, snap on the cuff and chain me close to thee. <laughs> nice, cute. Um, what about this one? It's no accident, my liking you, Valentine, as he runs her over while sticking his thumb out. His tongue out, I mean. Yeah. Um, don't be cross. Guess who it is. And you can see she's wearing a gas mask. What do we did make of that? I mean, that's the, that's the worst of all. Because that's, it's, it's that's like a, it's like a Chucky doll. It's she, pretty, she's she's pretty very, Chucky. <laughs> she's very creepy looking, and uh, yeah. But again, kind of an interesting piece of art. It reminds me of, there's an artist who it reminds me of, but I can't think of who it is right now. Anyway, um, here's this one from before. I'm out hunting for a Valentine. Are you game? And he has sort of. Um, I mean, now that we've come full circle, that seems sort of innocuous. I guess so. But what about his eyeballs? <laughs> That's he disturbing. He needs to get a thyroid exam exactly. pronto. <laughs> <laughs> um and here, of course, the ever-popular clown, be my valentine, misspelled, misspelled valentine, and it's a clown policeman falling down. All right. Um, valentine greetings, my heart, I serve to you. Sort of Silence of the Lambs-ish. <laughs> the little, f some fava Yonky. beans. <laughs> um you're sweet enough to eat my valentine all right in a pot of beans and then this one i'd like to grill you i don't like to grill you but whose valentine are you all right so yes as uh as sketchy pumpkin points out this is from the sociopath line at hallmark <laughs> would you care enough to send the most disturbing. <laughs> so, all right. So that is, so we had discussed, maybe we would draw some of these. <laughs> can you see now why I said I didn't think it was such a good idea? I hope you can. Yes. So, <laughs> not sure. So we've, we've got to come up with something else. So here's what I thought of. And tell me if you think this is a good idea. What do people like to get on Valentine's besides C's candy? Red roses, too. It's true. So, um, yes, we like to get roses. 
So what we're thinking is, let's make some roses and then you can think of someone to send them to. You've got four whole days. You could probably even put it in the mail. Yeah, that would be nice. Or I'll, I'll post our PO box. Or you could act like it's 2022 and just take snap a picture of it with your phone and send it to them. Not as romantic, perhaps, but uh, save the mailman some trouble. So I went and I got some pictures of flowers, some roses. And I'm not sure how to do this exactly. I'm not sure how to approach doing this. I'm also not sure if my art supplies should be on the other side. Yeah, so I'm thinking... Um, those are so pretty. Those are pretty, right? Yeah. So I have a few pictures of roses, and I thought I would... Let's, like, cycle through them. These are quite beautiful, too. These are, like, uh, like almost like cabbage roses or something. Jen wants us to draw sees candy. We had talked about that actually. I wanted, <laughs> we figured, but it would have meant we'd had to go out and buy a box of sees candy and have it in the house, and I'm just not having that right now. Well, you're having that on the 14th. I know, but it's the 12th. <laughs> it's the 10th. Um, so that's a quite nice one too. A little overexposed, perhaps. Um, these are nice. These look a little too regular. It's like stock photo. Yeah, it's a stock photo version of a red rose. Yeah, I mean, that's a beautiful one, too. But I'm not sure about the focus thing. And here you can really see them. So this might be a good place to start. I mean, garden roses are superior. Do you think that's what these are? I think, firstly, that's a carnation. It is? The one on the bottom is a, for sure a carnation. Really? Okay, well, we don't want that. So I mean, I love carnations. I so think what, so we do right. think, I think it's in here or here. Do you guys have any thoughts? Sam says that one, but I'm not sure which one. I like the talking. first one. That one. I like that. Right. I like that or the first one. Okay, so I think that that's pretty nice. I mean, I like the color palette here. I can't lie. That's better than red. It's like that orange. Mm, yummy. Well, we're artists, so we can make them any color we want. Um, and But I think, you know, let's think about what we want to do. Let's think about... Um, let's think about how we're going to approach this. Do you notice these are in a paper bag? It's strange, but yeah. So I, I was kind of thinking that maybe do some, like just do some color first. You know what? I may need to ask you to go and get me the hair dryer at some point. Seriously? It's possible. I'm feeling a little uh, disheveled. Yeah, no, it's possible if... if if I need help drying, getting this stuff dry. What about paper towel? We've begun. I've already gotten stuff on my hands. Um, yeah, the thing about a paper towel is it absorbs the pigment, right? So you get um, you get less pigment. So I'm using uh, ink. This is ink. But I'm not sure that I'm gonna do use. I mean, I'm I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna mess around. I just I'm feeling the need for color, but then I want to go in and sort of layer some stuff up. Whoa, that was bold. Yeah. So I'm just kind of putting some daubs of color. I've never done this before. I'm making this up as I go along. So if, as usual, it turns out to be a nightmare, you can send your complaints to JJ. Um, all right, so that's orange. And then I think I'll try another little. Can you push in on the reference so people can see the flowers more? Um, I suppose I could do that. Is that better? Yeah, I think so. Oh, you want to know about this paper bag? That's the paper bag. Yeah. All right, so they're big. And um, I'm 
might no. I was considering using watercolor, but I think I'm gonna stick to this ink. Yeah, that's nice. So here, this is. I'll take this time to go get the hair dryer. Is this mic even on? Yeah, it's on. I wouldn't stifle you. Loud enough, no one can stifle your own voice. All right, so this is just kind of general background color. And um, we're going to have an opportunity to just dry it. If you don't have a hair dryer, but you do have patience, you're in luck. Um, you can plug that in down there. Yeah. All right, thank you. I have the mic turned down because so, I'm blow drying. Right, but I took all the picture away from everything. Sorry. Sorry, I didn't mean to take away the reference. But, you know, pug power. Pugs take precedence. So, all right, so there's that. Tammy has already given up. Tammy. You can, you will. I'm going to show you how even though I don't really know myself, but something's going to happen, something, something good. So what I'm thinking is color pencils. Give me a twiggy knees. All right, colored pencils on board. So let's pull out a few appropriate ones. All right, that that should do. Let's see how this works. So this orange is almost the same color as the background, but that's okay, because I'm going to keep going in and uh, building, building up levels and layers. Roses are, they look complex, but they're actually kind of fairly simple shapes. If you can draw a Brussels sprout, and of course, everybody loves drawing a good Brussels sprout. If you can draw a Brussels sprout, you can probably manage a rose. I don't know of any art that I've ever seen that involved Brussels sprouts. So now I'm using a, it's a gold pencil, so for some reason it's much darker than the orange, but it allows me to just kind of get some, some depth in there, get some shadows, and make it more dimensional. Why did you call it a gold pencil? It's literally called Sienna Gold. Sienna Gold. So, so 
So besides candy, what are your thoughts about Valentine's, JJ? Okay. okay. But what do you think of it as a holiday, the idea that you have a holiday to celebrate romance? It's kind of a strange thing. Don't you think? I mean, we don't have holidays to celebrate other emotions. I mean, I am an American, so I feel like it's just been... It's, it's like, it's, there's, I gotta tell you, I see a weird face in your rose and I can't form a thought. It's like the faces that come out and toast. Do you see it? No. Oh, it looks like a bit like a monkey. His eyes, the nose, and the mouth, right? <laughs> you know, I was trying to formulate my thought yeah. about Valentine's Day. Well, there's Day, a kind of rose called a monkey like, rose. It's like a really, it's like that creepy Valentine has come through. You, yeah. I mean, I'm not alone, right? You're never alone on Valentine's Day. Yeah, I mean, I guess I'm pro Valentine's Day. I think it's, a, I mean, I have been in the Heartbreak Hotel alone and sad on Valentine's Day. You have? I Since mean, we've been married? <laughs> <laughs> it's news to me. So I think that there's, there's a certain amount of pressure that comes with Valentine's Day that is not that welcome. But you know me, any excuse to eat candies, I'm, I'm pretty much down for it. I remember the first time I encountered it was when I went to an American school in Pakistan and they had a thing where everybody had to make Valentine's and then they would randomly be given to some other kid. So you, you didn't really get to pick who got your Valentine. It was just, but you you would definitely get a Valentine and it would be handmade by some other kid. Did you ever have that? I mean, we had, we didn't have handmade ones. You know, they you buy like a whole carton of like packaged valentines but you had to give one to every kid oh my god really so you'd have to come in with like 25 valentines or uh -huh, something yeah wow what yeah. a racket yeah hallmark definitely invented this holiday what if that still goes on if that's still considered uh, a viable thing i mean do you remember I mean, I can probably pull it up, but there was the most outrageous photo of Margie from Valentine's Day last year. Speaking of the commercialization of Margie Valentine's is my mother-in-law. <clears throat> what do you mean? She wore tinted sunglasses with hearts. Oh, that's true. And a headband with pom-poms. That's true. And she dressed all in red. This is a 90-year-old woman. And she put her stuffed animal Rottweiler dog on her walker with a Valentine's Day sign and marched around the assisted living facility all day long. But she's completely sane. She's Just... so sane. She's like completely with it. Yeah. <clears throat> Not the kind of thing my mother does. No. I mean, I'm sure your mother doesn't believe in Valentine's Day. No. That would definitely be too American for her. Yes. It would involve acknowledging love as a thing. <laughs> Don't be nice. All right, we're going, to, we're going to places, dark places that are probably not appropriate today. Um, yeah, so it's funny that these roses that I'm doing are really kind of flat, and then there's a line on top of it, which is interesting because one of the things that I had been thinking Another topic that I had thought we could pursue for Valentine's Day was drawings of Cupid. And the reason I thought of that was because I've always liked Andy Warhol's illustrations. And Andy Warhol did a whole thing that was about Cupids, or was it about angels? I'm not really sure. Then I went back and looked at them, and I thought, like, okay, that could be nice. We could draw, we could be influenced by Andy Warhol. Twiggy, no. And then I went and looked at them, and uh, they actually were not very good. What? Yeah, I just, I, I thought, like, this is not good. This is not what I want to recommend to people to do. So we didn't do it. Yeah. Although I like a lot of his illustrations. I mean, his drawings of shoes are really cool. And, uh, yeah. All right, I found the photo. Yeah. I'll send it to you. It's 
So yeah, so I'm just kind of doing it pretty lightly, as you can see, putting in a little bit of hatching. You know what I could do? Let's try this, see if this works. Just a wet brush. And yeah, that kind of zings it up a bit. So these are, uh, these are watercolor pencils, so they, they like a little bit of water, like roses do. Um, so speaking of roses... Oh, don't malign me. Speaking of roses, you know, what, what do you think could be more romantic than buying somebody roses? How about <laughs> buying them a rose bush? How about buying them a rose garden? I beg your pardon? I did promise you a rose garden. And I, so, was it last year? Yeah, it but I think, like, it was, I think it might have been Christmas. It seems a really long time ago, but it was at Christmas. I decided to buy my wife six rose bushes. Bushes. Because I thought, you know, it'll be nice. Like, all of a sudden, she'll have a rose garden. And I wanted them to be a surprise, too. So my brother-in-law volunteered to come with me to the, to the nursery. We spent hours picking these out. Hours. And huge amounts of money. I don't even want to go into it. <laughs> Still paying them off. Anyway, so I bought all these roses, and then we hid them. Now, it's not easy to hide six full-grown rose bushes. We're not talking about like little seedlings, We're talking about things that are several feet high, each in its own big heavy pot. Do you remember all this when all this happened? I mean, I know where the story is going, and I think it's not very romantic. Yeah, so we'll just should we just leave it there? Do you <laughs> want to tell dead. everybody they died, they're dead, it's not a happy story. It was my fault. <laughs> I take responsibility for it. I should never have trusted place. her with <laughs> roses. Yeah. They're dead. They're dead. It's a Halloween story. <laughs> it's true. So I can't see the roses in the background, so I'm just kind of making them up. But that's the nice thing about drawing roses is you can just kind of like do little doodly spiral things and they kind of look like roses. You don't have to go nuts about it. Doodly spirally things. Yeah, that's that's my idea of art instruction. It's like Cinnabon. Exactly. Cinnabons. So did you send me the picture? Mm-hmm. Okay, so while you all continue working, did you text it to me? Or you t uh, here it is. Um, so, yes. Okay. <laughs> All right, this is going to be mildly horrifying, but um, here, let me show it to you. This is... This is what's happening in assisted living, Phoenix, Arizona. Here we go. <gasps> Sorry. I hit the flowers for a second, but there. So, that is my sainted mother-in-law on Valentine's Day in her rose-colored heart-shaped glasses a rose mask, and what's her dog's name? Uh, Waldo. 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 Yeah. Her, her Rottweiler, or is it a Doberman Pinscher? Please beware! This is a stuffed animal. It's not a real animal. It's and stuffed. It's not like taxidermy. It, it was never alive. And uh, yeah, so there she is. <laughs> so when you ask that I enjoy Valentine's Day, when this is my mother. Yeah. No, yeah. Well, your, your mother loves holidays. We all love holidays. Why would anybody not love a holiday? I don't know. I always remember my mother saying that we didn't celebrate Mother's Day because every day is Mother's Day as far <laughs> as she's concerned. <laughs> and it's true. I would have to give her a gift every single day because she gave birth to me. Yep. That's quite nice. 
like doing those roses. Margie's been doing painting class at uh, La yes. Siena. Yes. So my, as I said, my mother-in-law is 90. Is she 91? No, she's 90. She's 90. And she just started taking painting lessons. I don't. I had nothing to do with it. <laughs> she's painting uh, in acrylics. And uh, she's it's masterful. No, she's, she's enjoying it a lot. She's made f- like half a dozen things now. But uh, yeah, it's kind of a surprise. Life starts at 90. My mother-in-law also went to college. When she, how old was she when she went to college? 50. 50. She went to college. And um, she was the class valedictorian at her graduation. Yeah. Pretty impressive. My mother has a PhD. Silence. (laughs) (laughs) But she's not the class valedictorian. (laughs) She hates Valentine's Day. I don't know. Well, the reason... See, in my family, we didn't celebrate Valentine's Day for a very, I think, legitimate reason, which is it's my sister's birthday. That's true. So whenever... I mean, this is until very recently. Whenever it was Valentine's Day... It was the time that we would get together as a family for my sister's birthday. There was no, it was utterly selfish to be going out and having dinners and stuff like that to celebrate love. No, we would go dutifully and give her presents. I mean, it's such, I love my sister. I think it's so. such a bummer to have a birthday on a holiday. I know. That's a real forfeiture. I know. And then, so what did my sister do? She went and gave birth on the 13th of February. <laughs> so now not only is her birthday eclipsed by Valentine's Day, it's also eclipsed by her own child's birthday, which is the day before. So, I mean, nobody bothers with her birthday at all anymore. She's totally out of luck. Yeah. <sighs> I mean, I always feel slightly badly for you when your birthday aligns with Labor Day. Which, but nobody celebrates Labor Day. I celebrate Labor Day. <laughs> By doing what? My mother was in labor on Labor Day. <laughs> labor Day is for picnics. Now we've had picnics on my birthday. Exactly. <laughs> oh, you mean that it was, bec- it was because of... It was a Labor of, Day picnic that just happened uh, to be on your birthday. Uh, that's true. Yeah, I'm get, I have gotten gypped. I don't know if it's PC to say that. What, chipped? Yeah, huh? that's not oh, a nice thing. I got rooked. Is that better? Sorry. Sorry to any of you people who are... I think you people is also <laughs> not PC. <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't be laughing. You owe each and every one of come to these each of attendees your a, a rose, a, an send image you a of rose. a rose that you've yes. hands on. I'll gladly send you a JPEG of my rose if you'd like. Exactly. I'm not really sure what I'm doing with these leaves. I don't really have good reference to, to, to draw from here. So I'm just kind of making it up. It just feels like it needs something to kind of unite them. So Maybe darker. Yeah, well, it's going to get darker. Oh, I see. Oh, you know what we meant to do? We meant to announce who had won some of the Hanamula giveaways. Oh my gosh, we had so many. We had so because we how many have we done? We've done like well, we did this, the gray book, and we, then we did the hand lettering pads, right? And then we had the watercolor cold press, the collection, right? And golly, there was something else. Yeah, so. We have given away a lot of these ones, and we, we wanted to just announce who won it. All right, let me see if I can find that. But if you, if you won it and you're like, oh, oh my God, they're going to now tell me, they're going to announce my name, and that's the last thing I want, and I'm really terrified that the IRS is going to come, if that's the case, quickly <laughs> announce yourself in the chat so we can... <laughs> so we can hide it. I mean, it's a lot of names. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Twenty-one people got 
21 people loot. that we've given away loot to this month. I think we should clarify Hanamula is given away. <laughs> we, the agents of Hanamula, have managed to pass on yeah, so art we supplies. Had gray books, lettering, hand lettering pads, agave watercolor paper, and mm. then the collection cold press watercolor paper. That's nice. Yeah, pretty good. You could, if you got one, you could give it, re-gift it to your Valentine. No, no, no. Yes, you could. Nobody wants. Nobody's going to give away Hanamula art supplies that they got. You have to prize them from my cold dead fingers. So yeah, this is turning out differently than I thought. But I mean, it's not bad. I think you could give it to Margie, and she might like it. That's true. Maybe I'll give it to my mother-in-law. Maybe I'll send it to my. Arlene is saying, tell us, tell us. I think she's one of the people that got something. Oh, yes. Arlene, Arlene. was meant to get agave watercolor paper. Did it not arrive? Ah. Why don't you read out the list? I'm not sure. I feel like that's a... Is it a violation? I, yeah, I, I don't feel good about that. Oh. Really? But we're, this is kind of like, uh, let's make a deal or the price is right. Come on down. No, it's not. I know. Why don't you read the first names? No, I think that's wrong. Well, People all right. might come to their house, try to steal their... Based on their first name? All right, I'll announce the first name. Mary, <laughs> Suze. I have no idea. You really you don't want to even announce their first names. First names. Why, Come on, people. It, this is not commentary that anyone right. wants. Nobody wants that. Oh, my right, God. Right. Mary actually wants the list. Yes, Mary, Mary Steelman has yes. asked for the list. Arlene wants it. If you won, did you get an email? No, you got free art supplies. We, were, uh, we just, No, I, I, don't, I don't email anybody. It's, like, meant to be a surprise. Not only that, but also, like, you know, then, then you'll get overly excited. Whereas if you sit around waiting to see if you found one, there's always the possibility that you did. Years from now, you might sell, still be saying, I bet you I, I, I have a feeling I won that. It's going to show up one of these days. But if, we got you, if, you, if you're waiting for an email now, I think it's much better. I actually think Hanamula sends you the email. Oh, they do? Yeah. Saying what? Did Lisa Stewart not? I sent Lisa Stewart personally a package. You know, who knows? <laughs> Gen Z is like uh, calling your bluff. No, they're... they're they're coming directly from Hanamula. They do send people an email to say they're coming. This is like Publishers Clearinghouse. Yes, JJ's going to arrive at your house in a white van. I said she was like Ed All right, McMahon. Did I already made the Ed McMahon reference. Now, now it's getting even deeper. All right. Nope, Lisa Stewart didn't get it. Baron Tyson McFry standing by the mailbox. Buttercrafts didn't even get an email. I don't send. I don't send emails. But if you win, Hanamula will send you an email. If you did receive no email, you probably didn't win. Although Arlene, I don't know. I I I, I don't know. <laughs> Boy, I should never. Have Arlene, it. Is, Arlene is. It's like inviting a vampire to your house. <clears throat> Boy. I should never have brought this up, but yeah, the, I th thank you for everybody who's saying that they like my roses. I'm quite pleased with them too. I'm going to now see if I can ruin them by adding a bit more ink. No, it's not ruining them yet. I feel like you need like some dark, like maybe dip pen or something. Dip pen? <laughs> You're going to get booted. <laughs> As you've noticed, JJ has not been allowed on Draw With Me for a while because now it turns out that she's making art supply recommendations. Why do you think I need a dip pen? I think you need a black pen is what I meant to say. Wow. Not a dip pen. I misspoke. You knew what I meant. A black pen. You mean because there, there's not enough contrast? Yeah, I feel like if you look at the reference, there's some very dark areas in each one of these flowers. I know, but 
my my picture is much more sunshiny. It's not grim and high contrast. But you are right that you should have a range of tones in your image. And right now I don't have enough I don't have enough of a range. I'm not sure that I want black though. How are yours coming along? Have you... Oh, David Pyle is challenging people to come up with what you do next. We were thinking Olympics. Don't give it away. <laughs> <laughs> we don't usually plan it out all that far in advance. Honestly, I usually make it up when we're playing the opening credits. That's usually, <laughs> like, that's usually like, uh, quick, think of something. Okay, somebody had an interesting idea. Lynn B says, try green on the roses and red on the leaves. I'm into that. She's not wrong. It's, it's a nice, it's a way of getting contrast. And Francine's world is going for a black pen. See? People you are smart. You should have married Francine. <laughs> hey, David Powell, were you here when I was showcasing... Uh, your painting that's hanging behind, beside me? Dangerously close to the fire. <laughs> Usually you don't put watercolors right next to fire I places. mean, do people know that the fire is t television playing a fire? Oh my God, what is wrong with you? <laughs> All right. I hope you won't miss JJ when she never comes back. Hey, on hey, Netflix. hey, I'll come back every time. <laughs> so, so, Somebody else sees the face too. It's so creepy. Here, this face? No. no. Where is it? Where's the face? It's on, down. It's on the left. Here. Face. It's the other flower. This one. No. Yes. This. I don't see it anymore. <gasps> White gouache on the petal tips. Come on now, that sounds fun. People are vulgar. Okay, multiple people have asked for white. This is, this is, you've got to give the people what they want. You people are vulgar. You people again? <laughs> you people. <laughs> Clearly does not learn. Sorry. <clears throat> you ladies, you folks, oh, you Mitzi, gentlemen. Mitzi is channeling August Ren and Own Marwin, two all-stars of the medium. I agree. I mean, uh, some of you may remember our uh, <coughs> gouache flowers workshop that we did a few months ago. I don't seem to have learned much from it, but <laughs> I was there. I attended. You know what's good about our workshops is you have lifetime access. I'm to go you back. watch it again and again. I'm go back and watch them some more. <clears throat> All right, I put some wipe on it. I think you people... I don't have think the it. pencil is enough. I think you need... Uh, you do you have, have like a jelly pen? Jelly pen. Posca pen? What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? I got what another got? white pencil. No. I do have a white gel pen. You know, we've moved the studio into the living room, and I can't say that art supplies are terribly organized. I have a white, I have a white gel pen, but... Wait I'm, to hear a large crash with pens going everywhere. I'm telling it's you that it's going to be a disaster. And Twiggy will be chomp, chomping through... I'm throwing everything I have at it, and it doesn't seem to be helping. Wow. I, I know there's a gel pen in here oh somewhere. God, Kathleen is doing a creepy Valentine instead. This is my kind of, my kind of broad. I hope it's okay to say that. Huh? I like broads. Yeah, I don't know what happened to my white gel pen. I did have one. Twiggy ate it. Well, now I know what to get you for Valentine's Day. White gel pen. <laughs> Thank you. Cynthia is prompting you for colored pencil, and the, and the colored pencil, you she missed. Clearly tried to do it, and it doesn't 
doesn't. Yeah, the colored pencil doesn't show up. It's not good. Now I'm trying a different kind of colored pencil. You don't have gouache? Do you have white out? <laughs> uh, yeah, no. I, maybe I, could, I have some masking tape. Maybe I could uh, use some house paint with a roller. I think I have some zit cream. I'm 50 years old and I still use zit cream. I mean, what is wrong with that? So unfair. Oh, you know what? I think I should just put a little pencil in there. <laughs> My little white pencil. <laughs> See, you guys were right. It just needed a little white pencil. <sighs> Inga is happy that you're here. I mean... Inga. Inga, Inga I'll you, tell you. Inga, you're clearly... Every time I come on, Danny gets emails saying... He gets so many... You'll see. I'm terrible. You, if you come back and look at this video on YouTube, you will see comments of people saying, who's that horrible woman? She's <laughs> bossy, rude. Bossy, rude, yeah. Telling you what to do. <laughs> Not funny. Telling you to use duct tape and all kinds of other things. Talking about her dicks. Yeah. So, yeah. The people have spoken... I think I'm going to stop because this is just getting worse. No paper bag? <sighs> no. I'm not unhappy with this. I, I wish I hadn't put the white pencil on it, honestly. Because I think it's... There, I can get rid of it. This is why you don't draw with a committee. I would suggest that if you draw... Try to do it generally alone. <laughs> you can have a few, a few, you know, quiet friends who are also drawing with you, but do not get a crowd around you. It's not. It's not going to make for a better drawing. Yeah, I I get the feeling of roses from these. I think it's nice. Uh, all right. Oh my God. What? I have an idea. I have an idea. Don't finish. You, you got She's got an idea. No, no. I'm telling you, you're going to love this idea so much. See if you can find the white gel pen. No, she, I hope not. Oh, thank God she's gone. Uh oh, she's back. Did I, did Some of you will know what this means. <laughs> okay, well, we're going to try it. Doesn't really go, but okay, we're gonna try it. We'll try it. See what happens. Don't you have to wet the paper first? Does anybody remember how to do this? It's a watercolor pencil, right? It's kind of working. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna wet it a little bit. I, I would like to go on, on record as saying I was pretty happy. John is saying, got to put the water down. I think I was pretty happy. I was pretty happy with this um, drawing, just saying. I was pretty happy with it. And you, need, you know what you need is the atomizer. All right. So, yeah. So, let's try. Just put it kind of in the area where the paper bag goes. Can you see? Oh, spritz, yes, that's what it I was. I know, that's what I said, atomizer. Yeah. Oh, an atomizer. I didn't even know what you were talking about. Not the first time. Oh my God, that looks cool. It looks cool. It does look kind of cool. Good idea. That's what I'm here for. I like having an assistant, a studio assistant. I would say when you're drawing, try and have as many people help you as possible. <laughs> I think you'll find it makes it a lot better. Don't go too far. Don't go too far. All right. So, yeah. So that gave a little zhuzh, a little something. And then if you don't like it, you can just kind of. No, don't do that. No, but don't I'm saying that. in certain places, I'm not sure I like it. You know, so you can just, you can just tap it a bit. Jennifer and then it, is like, what is an atomizer? He meant spray bottle. All right. Those of you who speak English <laughs> as a native language will understand what an atomizer is. I didn't. I didn't. It's a weird word. All right. You went to a good university. You'll know what atomizers are. Sorry, I wasn't valedictorian like my mother. <laughs> exactly. If you. <laughs> All right. I think that was really kind of cool. I 
Thank you. You know, we're going to have Kate uh, Legali back in Spark today. Oh, yes. So you can tell her to use this technique. All you Spark members, Kate Lagali will be back today for uh, a recap of the workshop. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right. Um, was that an ink stick? No, it was a pencil. It was just it was a, a regular pencil. Regular old pencil. Wait, it was a watercolor pencil. No, it'll work with any pencil. Oh, really? That was a regular pencil? It wasn't, but it will work, work with any pencil. <laughs> Are we done? Um, we are basically done. Thank you for putting up with us today. <laughs> happy, happy Valentine's Day. I hope you all get C's candy. If you're listening to this on mute, I understand why. My wife actually has a very good singing voice. Thank you. Thank you, babe. You're welcome. Happy Valentine's Day. That was it. Okay, so um, oh boy, I want to talk about these things. So we don't want, we're not giving away anything this week. So I'm going to take that away. But we will be taking we will be giving away something next week, right? Probably. I, I think, think so. Yeah, I think we're going to be giving stuff away almost every week. So that's a good reason to excuse me. That's a good reason to 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 subscribe subscribe to this channel. Why? Because every week, except for this week, we're giving away free Hanamula art supplies, and we've given it around to 20-something people this month alone. 21 people. 21 people who will remain nameless. Until like half of them haven't received it. Yeah. <laughs> They're coming. All right, They're so coming. next time you come to this thing and you want something, come back and tell us. What else? Speaking of really cool free things... Danny's Essays.com, now appearing twice weekly. No wonder my fingers are dirty and bleeding because I am doing so much to uh, give you stuff. I'd like you to have my essays. Um, I write about all kinds of things, generally about creative matters, art, life, jokes, Depressing things, all kinds of stuff. So yes, so if you sign up for it, just go to dannysessays.com, put in your email address. I won't bother you with anything. I won't try and sell you anything except my opinions. And they are generally correct. So you have nothing to lose there. Um, what else? Art for All podcast. The Art for All podcast is something that comes out every Monday. Me, I, and my friend... John Muir's Law, John Muir Laws, sorry. <laughs> I hate these plural names. John Muir Laws. We sit around and we just jabber and mansplain all kinds of things and talk about, uh, this week we talked about art supplies. What are our favorite art supplies? We've both been spending huge amounts of money on art supplies for a really long time and we have lots of great opinions. So if you want to get, get them, go and listen to it. It is available wherever you get podcasts. One of the places that more and more people get podcasts, frankly, is right here on YouTube. You might be watching this on Facebook. I'm not sure why, but if you are, come to YouTube, come to our channel, because you've subscribed, and you will get to not only hear us, but see us. We're both strikingly handsome men, and uh, you can feast your eyes upon us talking for a full hour. Sometimes more. We just can't be shut up. So you can watch it in installments, kind of like a Netflix show. But you can watch it repeatedly. And uh, I've, I know people who've listened to the same episode multiple times. My wife isn't one of them. Doesn't listen to podcasts. Right? I, doesn't like podcasts. I told you before we got married. Doesn't like art. Doesn't like essays. <laughs> what do you like? Twiggy Beef. She likes our dog. So... Lucky there. John Muir. Muir. M-U-I-R. Muir. Muir. Helen, it's nice to see you. And uh, thank you for joining us today. Thank you all for joining us today. Cynthia Zick, for some reason, tells us that she hates jazz. That is you. 
Cynthia. Well, you growled when you said that. Yeah, I mean, we do not like to hear that in this house. We love jazz. Jazz is the greatest. So I don't know what you're talking about. What you mean by I think one time we're going to just do You know do why? It. Because she's never had C's candies. She needs to get C's candies, and then the magic of jazz, it will all click. All right, that's a stretch. So, yeah, we're going to send you some That's a stretch. Candies. I don't think that... Yeah. She's got a, I don't think that that John Coltrane ate C's candies. But everybody loves C's candies, and everybody should love jazz. Like Francine's world, she lives for jazz. Lives for it. Oh, this poor dog. I too. I can't wait for this podcast to end. I'm sorry, for this show to end, so that I can put my head back, <laughs> ribbon back on. Put back on her. And, and go. She can have her last. She doesn't want me to. She does hate it. She didn't like being dressed up. Don't, don't. It's, I don't like, I don't like, it's like when you see babies with hair bows. It's, dog. it's unattractive. All right. Um, anyway, what was I saying? I'm sorry. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry if that oh, on behalf yeah. of me and my whole family. Thank you. And th what are the candies you're talking about? C's candies. S E E apostrophe S. It's can they it's might only be in America, but they're often in the airport. So if you ever come to America, let me just say there's the candies are so good that Warren Buffett bought the company. Right? And you know Warren Buffett's never wrong, so. <sighs> All right. Yes, I was going to play jazz, but um, I'll play the theme from our podcast on our way out. Okay? Because I think it's nice, and I think it allows me to use my DJ voice. Thank you very much for joining me here today. I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone. Goodbye. <laughs> Bye. Thanks for drawing with me today. We'd love to see what you made. So please post it on social media or put it in the Sketchbook School schoolyard and make sure to tag it, hashtag SBS Draw With Me. Thanks very much to our sponsors, Hanamula and Windsor and & Newton. And if you'd like some more inspiration for your creativity, here are three things that you can do. One, subscribe to this channel, and you'll know when I make new videos, which I do every week. Two, sign up for my free weekly newsletter. A lot of people seem to like it, maybe because it's free. And third, watch another video.